Well, I was thinking to myself, you know, I basically went through like, you know, and like did a run, but I didn't really get that far, and I didn't really get to show off like, you know, the meat of his game. So you know what? We're going to do like a small little series of Solar Rogue, where at least I'm going to try and get to like, you know, um, the branches, I guess, for like this game, and, you know, show off a little bit more of the game, you know, what I basically has to offer for right now. So here we go. The future returns, let's go. Alright, so, welcome to Future Returns, it's basically the little, like, you know, briefing of what's, basically what's going on. Now, I will note by the way, ooh, there's a wormhole right there. Um, there is basically, of course, a tutorial that, um, lets us basically, like, you know, understand, like, basically what's going on, stuff like that, but... Because we've already basically gone through it once, we shouldn't have to worry about the tutorial basically popping up again. And that should let me basically, like, you know, speed at least through, like, the first two, like, you know, sections really um, faster than, like, before. But first things first, let's just get some energy, fight some, like, you know, ships like this over here. Uh... We're gonna wait for this guy and inspire him. Now I want to know by like these first like you know ships they basically fought on um, fight. Note that these guys don't actually have shields on them right now, so we we have shields they don't, so we basically like you know have a little advantage on them, which is good. The bad thing, though, is that, like, you know, I still have to worry about, like, you know, them dropping some stuff for me to make use of, so... There's that. Oh, went a little bit far there, but whatever. Oh. We're already down to half our energy here, we haven't found a single plant. Oh, there we go, there we go. Found our plant. Now, I will note by there is like some dub plants in this game, like, you know, they'll, they'll basically like have resources, but they're like, you know, gonna be so hard basically to get, that's not even worth like attempt to get them. So, so much I'll have like, you know, bad plants in this game, and there's one right there, unfortunately. Alright, I had to basically cut the recording there for a moment because I basically had a phone call, but whatever. Let's just keep on going. Now, hopefully I'll find a plant basically where I can get some energy because, like, you know... We have none. That's not great. Now, technically I could push on, like, to the next sector. And I'm actually wondering if that might be, like, a good idea basically to do. So, like, you know... Um... I can basically, like, you know, uh, fight stuff and basically, like, you know, find plants there and stuff and get further. Especially if these guys aren't dropping anything more for him, which is, like, you know, it seems like this, like, first sector, there's, like, you know, very scarce drops usually, so there's, like, a lower chance maybe for, like, you know, getting stuff. Oh, there's a probe right there. You know what, let's just leave the probes alone for this time. I could fight the probes, but like, you know... Really what I need is like, you know, to get like energy from like a plant and like, you know... Set myself up for like the next sector. There we go, found a plant finally. Yes, the game's warning me. I'm low on energy, but, you know... There's something to help me out a little bit. Alright, probably nothing else left in this plant here, so let's just keep going.
Yeah, let's just go into the wormhole here. I realize like, like something like more dangerous going on from here, but you know. Whatever. Let's make sure we have enough missiles for this guy. Alright, well this is gonna be a very quick run, but yeah, sometimes it'll be fine, like you know, multiple ships. Now, I wanna know by on the hard drift release, I think these guys actually move a little faster than like you. And yeah, I'm very much dead because there's no way I'm gonna be able to survive. All right, well, the Fuchsia Returns got, like, you know, immediately destroyed on, like, you know, after, like, getting to, like, Wormhole 2, but whatever. Yes, the Fuchsia Continuous will go next. And yeah, that can happen by where we can, like, fight, like, multiple ships in this game, and... If you're not ready for him, you'll just be in, like, you know, trouble basically doing so. Interesting, the probe's here. I'll chase it down. If I can get that mine list basically early on, that'll, like, you know, help a lot with, like, mining, so... It's always worth to try and get equipment, I guess. There we go. There's something to recycle. Push on. Let's map out here a little bit around the uh, first wormhole. We got a few items from this plant, so I'm happy about that. There's in our probe. Oh, this guy's gonna run away immediately, apparently. Let's see if we can catch up with this guy before he gets away, because you know it's just running toward the edge of the map here. And yeah, nothing for that pro bill, well. Eventually it'll be like that point where I basically find like, you know, a scan or something um, on like these probes that I can like basically make use of to like, you know, find stuff. And that'll be grand. On look basically it's a very like lucky based game because like, you know, you're basically trying to find stuff. Like, you know, from the get-go. And it can take a while to basically do. Alright, caught this guy. Notice by the way if they're always basically on like your like little tile here, they usually like run to like the right. Just to, like to throw it out there, that's what they basically do. Oh, let's keep going. Keep looking.
There we go, we found ourselves a weapon. We brought, got brought him board a precision missile launcher. Now, I'm not really sure I basically show, showed this off last time, but basically these weapons here, they'll have like, you know, little like modifiers on them. And they'll basically change around like how these basically weapons work, so... The precision missile launcher basically has like, you know, a, a longer basically firing speed, but basically like, you know, has higher critical chance and like, um, hit chance, so... Character is basically like, it takes like, you know, 50% longer fire, but we're basically more accurate of it, and we get like a critical chance for it. I don't really think much of precision, because I don't think like the, like, you know... The fifth percent longer face is worth it, but you know, if you really want to basically have like you know, um, a better chance of basically hitting, it's probably like you know good for that point. And look at that! There's the warm hot off here. So let's go here, I guess. I do have ten missiles, so. We're going that front. Wow, it took a while to get up to the corner here, but oh well. Now I will not bother you like you go along, basically the enemies will like be more like you know likely to have stuff. They also have like stuff like shields and stuff, so they get stronger as well. So it's like a question, how far off do you want to basically push on before like, you know, the ship space be too strong for like your little basic ship base to fight? Like there's a bomber right there, right? So... There's my electronics being blown up. There's a shield space like, you know, being intact and such. Alright, there's a blocking shield, a boost antenna, as well as a broken EMP, so... At least we got some stuff from this guy here. Um, I can convert, like, basically, like, the, like, you know, broken EMP and a boost antenna into, like, you know... Ooh! Maybe let's convert this, basically, into our, like, you know, stuff, because we get a lot of spare press from, like, the boost antenna, so... There's a mining laser. Now I can basically mine a little bit better from plants. Now, this blocking shield, it basically has um, better, like, you know, max shield, I guess, but it basically reduces their weapon damage, so it's not that great, basically, for, like, you know, making use of, like, you know, I want to basically have weapon damage, so I probably won't use it. And by the way, I don't have to land the shield here. I could put this on, but basically it has, like, you know, a higher energy cost, and, like, you know, it slows down our ship movement, so... We're not going to basically build that. But I wouldn't mind getting me access to, like, you know, a transceiver, like, long-range scanner. That would be a nice place to show off, basically, to, like, you know, see stuff around me. Let's assemble that. We're gonna build one of these like you know long range scanners so you can see like the difference between like a short range and a long range, so we'll put this on. And you can see right away that like you know now I can see like a little bit fire and like you know the short range piece could let me do. There we go, now I can see what I'm basically doing. There's a probe out here. Probe might have some, like, you know, better scanners on it, so we'll basically fight in a moment. It hasn't moved. I'm waiting to see if it, like, you know, moves on me or not. There we go. Oh, nice! Look at that! This is a Mark II, like, long-range scanner. This is what I really want, basically, to find, like, early on, to, like, you know, long-range scanner Mark II, because, basically, we put this on here. 
this will basically let me know like where plants basically are. So I can actually see like these crush marks that let me know like you know there's a plant right there or like there's a wormhole. So basically, you can see like now where plants basically are. And I have too much carbon basically behind like on me right now. So let's just recycle something here that I don't really need. So. I'm not basically at this point we have like quite a bit of stuff on me, so we don't really need to have like this stuff here. We can basically just get rid of it. And note that way, like I can't like break this down for like spare equipment, but I don't really need to build anything right now, so it's just better basically to you know turn it into like you know just stuff stuff for me to make use of. Though I will not buy if I want to, I could just assemble like you know this stuff here maybe. Make like the gra gravitite compactor to do stuff. Uh, let's just get down here. Now, no problem. Like you know, if an, I see like an enemy, basically like you know, the scout here, for example, he's far enough away at this point that like you know, he can't actually see me, but I can see him. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna avoid that plant for now. Let's go back here for a moment. Ooh, look at that! There's a converter over here. This is a regular converter, but you know, it's always nice to find like, you know, new converters basically, so we'll pick this up. Now, no problem, this is like your primary way of like getting recipes, so, um, if you basically look at my converter right here, no, basically like, this is like the stuff I can build right now, got like, you know, the compactors, and like, you know, this stuff right here. If I put this like, you know, new one on, we're gonna have access to new re recipes, so we have, um, access to like, say, like, the sufficient, like, pistol launcher now, we'll have access to like, the shield long range scan over here. Basically, it'll change around like the modifiers. So you can basically build like this stuff here, even like it's, if it's like, the same type of converter. By the way, this also like give me like a little bit of like you know matter basically to convert, so could do that as well. I was gonna come back here because I need to find some plants, and it'll be a little bit easier to go for plants on like this sector than like the you know the previous sector, so we can build up our energy supply a little bit. And apparently there's not a whole lot of plants where I was basically going, so... Oh, let's go over here to this one. A couple of probes. I could possibly, like, you know, get some, like, stuff from them, but, you know... We're just gonna go here, grab the mine laser, and get some, you know, energy out of this thing right here. So there's four items. By the way, I want to note that because I have the Mark II like scanner here. Oh, it's only like yeah, Mark II. So we don't actually have enough like power for like our scanner base to like find a composition. But you know, as we get like these very like you know scanners, we'll be able to see more. I just mean like a, a Mark III basically to like you know see what's basically in here. But whatever, that's fine. Here's some energy. By the way, if you look at this, like, you can see, like, these guys, they, like, come in grave, like, you're outside of your scan range, basically let you know their last position that you basically were at. Not up there, apparently, but whatever. Let's go over here. There's a probe down there, don't really care, it's just a probe. The scout I do care about a little bit, though, so... Make sure I have what I need to basically fight this guy. Oh, there's a nurse scout over there. So this is nice about basically having a long range scanner. I can actually see like you know how far away it might be. So let's just wait right here for this guy to come and fire. There's some nice stuff from this guy. Let's basically take this guy on. There we go, we just kill that scout right there, so I don't have to worry about him. We're just gonna you know convert that basically away for now. Oh, look at all this lovely stuff right here. 
There we go, energy! Rain auction, awesome. Uh, that's enough basically for this plant right here. At some point, like, you know, you're just gonna, like, you know, not really getting anything, so... Just grab what you can. I'm just gonna harvest this stuff. Yeah, we'll let him get closer. We got, like, you know... The conversion basically do here. Alright, excellent. We kill that guy. We got ourselves an efficient shield. Um, I'm not the efficient shield is possibly a good pickup because compared to my regular shield, my regular shield basically has a max shield of like 15, and it's got like an energy cost of uh, 22. If I put this on, it'll basically have like, you know, less like regen, but basically like has the energy cost, so... I can basically run around and not have to worry, you know, worry about energy as much until like, we find like a better shield. And 15 like shields like you know not like a huge amount or anything like that, so it's fine. No nope, by the way it says like shields are down. Whenever you swap your shields, you're basically gonna have to like you know, you know, get like a new shield here to do stuff with, so it's something you know to keep in mind. That's the bad thing about like swapping shields, like you know, your shield basically go down when to swap it, so. And by the way, it is possible to find like more stuff if you like, you know, look around like, you know, in space for like, you know, items and stuff, so... Let's go the long experience, I basically see a little bit more, so you can like see what's around me and such. Let's grab this, fire at this here. You can probably grab everything we're going to from here, so let's recycle this stuff. We're gonna keep my regular shield for now because it might still be useful if, like, you know, there's a lot of enemies to fight, but whatever. Now, I want to buy at this point. Um, it'd probably be a good, a good idea to build this, like, you know, gravitic compactor or the bolt engine. These things right here are, like, utilities you can basically build in this game, and this one basically boosts up, like, your cargo volume, so, um, you put this basically on it, basically, like, you gets you, like, two times your cargo space. And if you want like the bolt on engine here, this basically makes it so you move faster, so you know, honestly that's a good thing for like, you know, running away from people or like getting close to them, so really nice basically to have. I prefer to have the graphic compact because basically I'm a bit of a hoarder, but you know, whatever. We're just gonna craft one of these. Craft our missiles, because you know we still need our missiles and stuff. Whoa, that's dangerous! See, I note that this guy here is like basically moving up over here because, like, you know, we have, like, the, um, you know, stuff going on there. And yeah, I note by this guy, like, he double turned me here. I think on harder, basically, these guys have, like, you know, a, a faster, like, turn, like, multiplier than you, so they move faster than you do. Oh, we're down. There we go, we killed him. And there's like my compactor, so you can see like you know if I take this like off or on, it basically like you know gives us a lot more room basically to carry stuff. There we go. You know, it might be stuff in empty space if I look around for it, but you know, you're basically gonna find a better stuff like later on down the road, so. Unless there's like a probe here or something like that, we're not going to worry about, you know, just, you know, extra space here for a little bit. There we go, kill this guy, grab his hydrant, I guess. Now we're probe the fight. And a scout. I think I'm still like, you know, low on shields for this guy, so maybe we'll just like, you know, avoid him a little bit, and that guy too. Now 
I mean, sometimes it's, it's, it's discretion is the better part of battle, right? So... We'll fight the simple probe, basically. There's an our hydrogen there. There's a sun, by the way, and our converter. Whoop, that guy, like, you know, moved after because basically, you know, he had a chance to. Hey, this guy had a matter energy converter, so we got this. We got another matter energy converter. So now I got basically like two more of these basically to like play around with. So this guy basically gives me access to the overload shield, so basically I can put this basically on. It's got like, you know, um, max shield is basically a little bit better, but you know, cost basically more. And the regener you know, regeneration rate is basically better. Um, he does have access to the compact mine, which is nice. This thing is like, you know, um, it basically weighs less, but you know, with the character, um, character compactor, I'm not really going to worry about it. Uh, it's basically lucky missile launcher as well as efficient laser turret, so... I can use these basically in, in place of like, you know, my other weapons. This has a nice like energy cost, so this will be good for conserving power. The lucky like, you know, missile launcher basically is good for like, you know, hit chance. I actually really like lucky missile launchers and like anything lucky for the most part, but you know, whatever. And this... This is the old one I basically had on, so I'm not gonna worry about that one. Whoops. Well, that should be this one now. I can't really tell if these are, are the same or not, but it doesn't really, really matter, so... Alright, so, you know, basically these, like, you know, the air converters, but they basically do stuff. It doesn't really matter, like, early on what these basic converters are basically going to do for me. I need, to, like, to find better ones anyway, so... We're just going to convert these basically all into, like, you know, energy for now. Wow, look at my shield basically going up here, so... Our shield is going up! Ooh, no probe. A scout over there, or what, probably a previous scout basically coming up to fight me. If he wants to chase me around, that's fine, but we're just going to chase around his probe here a little bit more. Here goes the probe. Uh, you can drop the probe hull of luck, we don't really care about that, but we'll like just pick it up. Nope, by this guy like got free moves better to do whatever he want to, so he basically closed in on me a little bit, but whatever. She'll stick a hit, that's fine. Boom! We'll grab his missiles. I'm just gonna convert all this stuff over here into, like, you know, more energy. Get some more missiles to do stuff with. So I could have been that scout over there, or it could have been, like, the other scout, like, over here. And there's a bomb right there, so maybe we'll go after him. Now, don't bother the bombers based on level 2, they usually only have like EMPs on you, so they're not usually going to be a big threat to you. But they kill my shield and stuff like that, but it's not like going to hurt me too much, so. Lucky miss! Not too great with the misses here, but whatever. I actually waited there by accident, but oh well. There we go, we blew him up. We got a sufficient... Ooh! Oh yeah, there we go. Efficient missile launcher mark free. So, I'm not, by the way, this is still efficient, but it's going to have a range of two, so I basically can fire a lot farther. And it's going to have, like, a very, like, you know, fast, like, you know, energy, like, you know, here as well. Plus, it's got, like, you know, very fast speed. So, this thing's a little bit slower than, like, normal, but, you know, compared to, like, my, like, you know, other, like, you know, missile launcher here... With like you know speed of like one turn, this thing's like you know faster and like it looks like you know it does more damage and basically doesn't like you know cost as much to fire. This is gonna be awesome basically to mount, so we'll let's put that on. We're just gonna cycle this stuff here for a little bit of like you know stuff. 
I'm running a little bit low on energy at this point, but it's fine. We got two plant space up here to harvest, right? So... Let's go up here, get these plants basically, there's in our probe. Yeah, I can see like the giant like, radius space of like, you know, firing power now have. Come on, stop running away. There's a scout again. Boom. There's a short range Mark II scanner. Basically, it's like the same as like my current one, but like you know, short range. And oh yeah, look at this. There's like scouts all over the place at this point. So everything is everywhere to fight me. Ooh. I were dodging here, but it's, you know, kind of dangerous when I have, like, no shields like this. You know, think about right now, it is cool having, like, the efficient shield, but... It probably would have been better to basically have, like, the other shield, basically, like, to, like, you know, keep me alive. Because basically, it's like, you know, even though it's not, not like, killing my power, now I'm, like, the shield's basically, like, you know, making me very vulnerable to being attacked and stuff like that, so that's only bad thing to know about it. And this basically gives me access to the shield's shield. The shielded mine laser, the overloaded missile launcher, salvage, and stuff like that, so. Nothing really here I want to build, but you know, it's there, so whatever. So let's get this all converted. You gotta get some extra moves and stuff like that, those guys, but it's fine. I do want to fight that guy, but I mean, my shield's still like, you know, so low, so... Not really. Oops! Yeah, this clicks, clicks. They can kill you now if you're not careful. Here's why I use the weapon button so I don't like move their box in, so... That's enough of that right there, let's just like, you know, get you basically out. You can see this guy is just, you know, slowly moving out of, like, range here of me and stuff, but whatever. Fire missiles at this guy here. You know, I don't actually have to get this close anymore, so I'm actually, like, you know, getting too close to these guys to, like, you know, use my missile launcher, but whatever. More hydrogen stuff from this guy. Okay, let's convert this stuff in here in, into energy and stuff. Another scout. Make sure I have the like energy for him. And yeah, he's in range based of fire already, so fire! There we go. We'll just grab this stuff here. Put on my, like, you know, missile launcher. Lots and lots and lots of power. <laughs> 